Hello friends, uh, today we are going to solve another interview problem that is uh, check if given edge is a bridge in the graph okay so we have given a graph and an edge okay and we have to write a program to check if the edge is a bridge so first uh, let's understand what is bridge so bridge in graph so edge is called a bridge if it connects two subgraphs and removing the edge will disconnect the graph okay so let's take a uh, uh, couple of examples so here uh, if we talk about this graph um, there's one bridge here okay because this is connecting two subgraphs okay this is one subgraph this is another subgraph and this is connecting these two um, is this edge a graph oh is this edge a bridge no because if you disconnect this the graph is not disconnected we can still travel both the vertex a and b through c okay similarly um, is this an is this edge a bridge no so if, if you remove this we can uh, very well travel to um, b a both the vertices right whereas if you remove this uh, uh, edge from c there is no way we can travel to b or from a there is no way we can uh, traverse to d or f or e so this is removing this edge will disconnect the graph right similarly in this example here every edge is a graph or every edge is a bridge okay so if you remove this from a we cannot go to b and b we cannot go to a similarly if you remove this the graph will be disconnected okay so let's uh, see how we can solve it so we know the graph traversal uh, there are two traversals in graph that is bfs and dfs okay so we can pick any of the traversal okay and then we can start the traversal from any node okay so we can start from a we can start from c we can start from d pick any node and do the dfs okay here we are using the dfs and then um, we need to count the number of dfs it needs to traverse all the vertices okay so let's say here we we have a bridge okay so if we start from a right and then we do the dfs so in one dfs right from a c d e e uh, f e and then it will back to b so in one dfs we'll complete the traversal of all the vertices okay so that means the graph is connected okay so first we'll count uh, the number of dfs it requires to traverse uh, all the vertices okay then uh, we have given a edge so we'll remove that edge okay so we'll remove the edge and again do the same process we'll do the dfs and count number of dfs it requires to travel all the vertices if the count is still one that means the given edge is not a bridge okay but if the count increases that means we have disconnected our graph by removing that edge so for example here if we remove this then we start the dfs from a so it will travel c and b so that is one dfs this will be completed but all our vertices are not traverse so we'll do another traversal we can pick uh, any of the unvisited node let's say we pick d or f and then we do another dfs so this or these 
three will be done in another one uh, DFS. So total DFS required is one here and one here, so two, okay? That means we have disconnected our graph, okay, by removing this edge. So let's read, uh, read these steps. So do the DFS to count the number of connected components, okay? So the number of DFS required are the number of connected components, okay? If the graph is fully connected, the count would be one. So there is a possibility that you have given a graph which is already disconnected, okay? So let's say you have given this, something like this, okay? Which is already disconnected. Understand this uh, in our blackboard. So let's say this is the graph which is given. So 0, 1, 2, 3, okay? So this graph is already disconnected, okay? So um, there are two components, uh, two subgraphs in this. Uh, so we do the, start the traversal from zero and we'll end up with one. So that is one plus, then we'll start the traversal from two and then we'll end at three. So another one. So there are two connected components. Now let's say we remove this edge, okay? So we remove this edge. So now this is zero, or one, two, and three, okay? Now one DFS is required to travel these two, and then another one is required. When we travel, start from two, we cannot go anywhere. So we'll just visit two, and then visit three, okay? So three, now there are three subgraphs or three connect, three component, three connected components, right? Because it requires three DFS traversals to visit all the vertices, okay? So, so that's why we count the DFS to num count the number of connected components if the graph is fully connected, it would be one. So in this case, the graph is fully connected. In this case, the graph is fully connected. So it would be done in one traversal. Then remove the given edge. So remove the given edge. Do the DFS again and count the number of connected components. So if you remove that, so there'll be one connected component, one connected component. So there are two. If the count is same, then the given edge is not a bridge. If the count increases by one, then the given edge is a bridge, okay? So let's understand the code. Uh, so in this graph, we have implemented, um, we, we are representing the graph using adjacency list. Uh, I, have, I have left the link here, so you can visit and we have discussed uh, about it in our uh, another video. Uh, I leave the link in the description. Please visit if needed. Yeah. So we have number of vertices and number of adjacency list. This is a constructor which is uh, 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 initializing the graph, uh, the number of uh, vertex and the link list. And uh, this function is adding an edge between source and destination. And here we are. Um, this is undirected graph. So for every edge, we are adding um, the forward edge and back edge like this, okay? And this is a function to remove an edge. So let's see our driver function. So we have, um, we have a graph, okay? And then, um, 0, 1, 3, 4, and 2, 3. Okay, so here we are passing source and destination and checking if this edge, so edge between 0 and 1 uh, is a bridge. Edge between uh, 3 and 4 is a bridge and 2 and 3 is a bridge. Okay, so first let's draw this graph 0, 1, 0, 2. We have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So three, four, five. So we have zero one, zero one, zero two, one two, 
like this and then two three three four so two three three four uh, three five and four five okay so if we have like this so first we if we remove zero one uh, this one zero one so if we remove that this is not a bridge so output should be false so this 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 would be false three four three four this removing this uh, um, will not disconnect the graph so this would be false and two three so two three if you remove that uh, yeah this will disconnect the graph so that would be true so our output should be false false and true okay so hmm. check if graph is visited what function it is calling check if the edge is a bridge okay so where is our function edge is a bridge edge is a bridge okay count the connected components so count the connected components so this is where we are doing our first dfs and we are count the connected subgraphs okay so we are counting before we are going to remove the remove an edge we are counting the number of connected components remove the given edge so this function will remove the edge and again count the connected components so call the same function so that is new count so if the old count is equal to new count that means is not a bridge and if the count is not the same then it is a bridge so let's first see count connected components function so where is that function yeah so count connected components so we are using a visited array to uh, keep track of uh, the number of vertices well, uh, we have visited during the traversal the count is zero this is check if the graph is uh, visited so if the check if the graph is visited um, so okay so basically we are uh, we are reading the uh, our boolean array right and uh, uh, if any of the any of the uh, node is not visited we'll return that index okay else it will return minus one so this function will return minus one if all the nodes are visited else it will return it will iterate and find the first first uh, vertex visited which is not visited so that would be the starting point of our dfs and this is our dfs function so this is our dfs function pretty straightforward we are using recursion i have a separate video on um, on the dfs in a graph i leave the link in the description please visit that if needed so in the dfs we mark the node as visited and then we traverse all the uh, neighbor nodes so all the nodes uh, connected from the uh, from the start node and what is our start node is the index which is not visited okay so call this function so initially all the nodes are uh, not visited so it will give the zeroth index so we'll start um, our dfs from zero okay and every time we do the dfs we will count uh, we'll increment the count so and at the end we'll return the count so if the graph is fully connected we'll return the count one okay if graph is disconnected it requires more than one dfs right then we'll return this count would be greater than one so this function gives um, the number of connected components uh, in a in in the graph okay so this function gives uh, count the connected components so we are storing the count and then we are removing the edge and how we are removing the edge um, yeah remove edge so remove forward edge remove back backward edge so we have given source and destination 
So from the source link list, we'll remove the destination, right? So we'll iterate all the vertex uh, which we can traverse from source and find the destination one and remove that. Similarly, um, now this destination will become source because this is a directed graph and you can traverse in either direction. So uh, we'll remove the back edge as well. This is uh, forward edge and this is back edge. And then uh, we'll call the same function again to count uh, the connected components, right? And then we'll match the count. Okay, I leave the uh, link of this article in the description. Uh, please visit. So yeah, um, yeah, this is the output. So zero one, zero one is not a bridge. Three four is not a bridge, and two three is a bridge. Okay, um, okay, I didn't log in. Okay. Yeah, so zero one is not a bridge, three four is not a bridge, two three is a bridge. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's refresh this page. So now we can mark this problem as uh, completed, and uh, yeah, this is how we solve this problem, and we'll come back with the uh, more problems in the future videos, and see you guys. Bye bye.